guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Godly. I would like to think that I'm old enough, mature enough, and woman enough to realize when I've made a mistake, to apologize for my mistake, right my wrong, and to carry on. Now, I know that you guys probably can't believe that these words are actually coming out of my mouth, but trust me, I am of right mind and sound body. With that being said, I would like to apologize to David Vondahar. Now I know that I said many hurtful things, many hateful things to him, about him, about Treyarch, Optic Gaming, and Black Ops 2. Some of the things were just said out of pure rage, pure heat of the moment, things that I didn't mean, things that I should have never said, things that are truly out of my character. When Call of Duty Black Ops 2 came out, I complained the entire year, all the way up until Ghost was released. I complained the entire year. There was not one thing that I found enjoyable about that game. From the lag, to the hit detection, to the connection, to anything and everything in between, including my teammates, I hated that game. Not one thing I found enjoyable. So when Call of Duty Ghost came out, I thought, this is going to be it. This is going to be an end all. It's going to be the greatest game ever. The greatest COD ever. I'm calling it right now the game of the year. Now, at this point, I'm truly eating those words. I've never been one of those people who actually go back to the previous COD, maybe occasionally, like Throwback Thursday and such, but to permanently go back to the previous COD, nope, not me. I've never been one of those people. As much complaining as I did about Black Ops 2, I swore, I vowed that I would never go back, never I was so looking forward to Call of Duty Ghost. I anticipated it. It was supposed to be the biggest game of the year. And the greatest thing about Call of Duty Ghost was the theme song by Eminem. That's my greatest, my greatest thought about Call of Duty Ghost. I love that song. Other than that, the game sucks. It's boring. I'm thoroughly bored. At least when I was playing Black Ops 2, at least I was raging, but I was having fun. You know, I spend so much time looking for people on Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm just, I'm bored. It's a snooze fest. The other day, I played 13 games of Kill Confirmed, and not once did we reach the score limit. The maps are ridiculously big. Even with the new DLC, I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm just so over it. Call of Duty Ghost is dead. And I never thought that I would actually go back to Black Ops 2. As much complaining as I did, I vowed to myself that once Ghost was released, I would never... And I emphasize never. I would never go back. Like I said, I've never been one of those people who ever went back to the previous con unless it was occasionally. So, like I said, though, I would like to think that I am enough of a woman to apologize for my mistake. Playing Call of Duty Ghost makes you fully, fully appreciate Black Ops 2. I don't know what I was thinking at that point. I don't know if it was the hit detection and me trying to snipe. I don't know if that's what got it. But at least, like I said, whenever I was playing Black Ops 2, at least I'm amused. You know? At least I'm raging, but I'm having fun. You know? But this game right here, I went back. It's my second or third game. I actually call in, you know, a VSAT and a Warthog. Now, I know it's not Prodigy Alert material or anything, but at least I was having fun. You know, I was running solo. I was by myself. Call of Duty Ghost, I cannot run solo. If I don't have a full team with me, even then, there's so many clans and this, that, and the other. Like, you cannot play Call of Duty Ghost by yourself. You cannot be an objective-based player playing Call of Duty Ghost by yourself. It just, it's impossible. And I cannot believe that I actually went back, you know, went back to Black Ops 2. Like I said, I vowed that I never would once Call of Duty Ghost was released, but I'm actually enjoying Call of Duty again. I never in a million years thought that I would say that, especially as much complaining as I did. Never in a million years. Like I said, playing Call of Duty Ghost makes you fully appreciate how great Black Ops 2 was. I can't even believe I'm saying this. But anyways, guys, like I said, I just want to apologize. I know that I spent the entire year complaining and really playing, you know, Black Ops 2 this week has kind of, in, you know, rejuvenated my love for Call of Duty. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to let you know that I do apologize. I apologize to David Vondahar, Treyarch, anyone and everyone remotely affiliated with Black Ops 2. I do apologize. I was wrong and I'm woman enough to admit that. So that's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.